CompTIA A+, Core 2, 220-1102, Practice PBQs. This video is part of our PBQ video series and is filled with information that will help you tackle some of CompTIA's challenging performance-based questions. In this particular video we will be discussing Professional Communication Professional communication is one of the most important skills an IT help desk professional can develop. Sure, you can troubleshoot a stubborn printer or reset a forgotten password in seconds, but if you can't clearly communicate with customers, your technical skills won't be enough. That's where soft skills come in, because let's face it, sometimes the hardest part of IT isn't fixing the technology, it's explaining the fix to a frustrated user. When it comes to professional communication, there are some key principles to follow. First, always present yourself professionally. Whether in person or on a video call, a neat appearance and a competent demeanor can instantly boost a customer's trust in your abilities. Next, use proper language. Avoid slang, jargon, or overly technical terms that could confuse the customer. Keeping things clear and professional makes troubleshooting smoother for everyone. Another crucial aspect is maintaining a positive attitude. Even when a customer is frustrated, staying calm, patient, and friendly can go a long way in diffusing tension and creating a more productive conversation. Active listening is another essential skill. Customers don't just want their problems solved, they want to feel heard. Repeating key details back to them, asking clarifying questions, and acknowledging their concerns can build trust and ensure you fully understand the issue before offering a solution. It's also important to be culturally sensitive. The IT help desk serves a diverse range of users, each with different communication styles and expectations. Being respectful and adaptable helps create a more inclusive and professional experience for everyone. Punctuality is another key aspect of professional communication. Whether it's responding to tickets, hopping on scheduled calls, or assisting walk-ins, being on time shows respect for your customers and colleagues. Additionally, avoiding distractions is a must. Giving a customer your full attention ensures they feel valued and that their issue is a priority. Now, let's talk about the different ways IT help desk professionals deliver support. Verbal communication happens in phone calls or face-to-face -face interactions, where tone, clarity, and active listening make all the difference. Written communication includes emails, chat messages, and ticket responses, where professionalism, clarity, and proper grammar help prevent misunderstandings. Finally, nonverbal communication plays a role in video calls or in-person meetings. Body language, facial expressions, and posture can reinforce a positive and professional interaction. With these communication principles in mind, let's look at a real-world scenario of an IT help desk conversation and see how these skills come into play. In this scenario, we will walk through a help desk chat session between a customer and an IT support specialist. The customer's messages will appear in gray chat bubbles on the left, while the IT support specialist will have their responses shown in blue chat bubbles on the right. For this scenario, our customer is experiencing an issue where they are unable to receive emails on their mobile phone. Throughout this conversation, we will highlight key aspects of professional communication, including how to greet the customer, gather information, troubleshoot effectively, and close the interaction professionally. Each step will showcase best practices, such as active listening, asking open-ended questions, avoiding assumptions, and maintaining a positive and professional tone. More often than not, a help desk chat session usually begins very abruptly, with a customer immediately stating their issue. By looking at the customer's initial chat entry, we see that our customer is experiencing an issue where they are unable to receive emails on their mobile phone. At this stage, it's important to acknowledge their concern and respond professionally. A customer reaching out to IT support is often already frustrated, so our response needs to be clear, polite, and reassuring. By starting with a friendly and professional greeting, you help establish a positive tone. Introducing yourself makes the interaction feel more personal, and reassuring the customer that you're ready to help makes them feel heard and valued. Now that the customer has provided a general complaint and we have dispensed with the pleasantries, it is time to jump in and get our feet wet. At this point, it is important to resist the urge to make assumptions. Instead, we need to ask the right questions to get more information. Using open-ended questions like, has anything changed recently? 
encourages the customer to provide useful details. This also demonstrates active listening, ensuring we don't overlook important clues. In response to our question, the customer now reveals they updated their phone earlier today. This gives us the important clue we needed. Updates can sometimes reset or change settings. Instead of jumping to conclusions, we still want to gather more details before proceeding. Rather than assuming the issue, we will continue to guide the customer through the troubleshooting process. Notice that we are not dismissing their concern or directing them to publish documentation to solve the issue themselves. Instead, we are engaging in the process with them. In this case, we will join them in verifying their phone's email settings as a logical next step. The customer will now provide their email settings. In the event they had problems finding these settings on their own, you could have offered to assist with that too. Looking at this information the customer provided, we notice a potential problem. The Internet Message Access Protocol, or IMAP mail port, is incorrect. Knowing this, we can confidently provide the customer with instructions on how to resolve the issue. Now is the time to keep your instructions simple. Rather than overwhelming the customer with technical jargon, we should provide a brief and direct solution. In this case, we guide them to update the IMAP port number to 993 in order to restore their email functionality. If the customer asks for a deeper explanation, we can then clarify that port 993 is the default port for IMAP when SSL TLS encryption is enabled, while port 110 is typically used for the POP3 email protocol. This approach keeps the conversation efficient while allowing room for further discussion if needed. Now that we offered a solution, there are a few more steps to close out this conversation. First, verify with the customer that the issue was resolved. Next, always end on a positive note by offering further assistance if needed. This ensures the customer feels supported. Finally, a professional closing leaves a good impression, making them more likely to return for help in the future. Professional communication is just as important as technical expertise in IT support. By maintaining a positive attitude, actively listening, and providing clear instructions, we ensure a smooth and effective customer experience. In this scenario, we used open-ended questions and troubleshooting best practices to resolve the customer's issue efficiently. Remember, keeping it simple, being patient, and avoiding assumptions can make all the difference in delivering excellent IT support. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.